Hi guys, this is Coach Corey from Brass Knuckles. Today we're going to go over movement, but we're going to teach you the basic foundation how to get there. For everyone it gets confusing, I'm going to teach you if you're right-handed or left-handed. Let me get Coach Connie over here. So, what you want to do, always make believe you're looking forward at a clock. You're always at 12 o'clock. So we're looking forward 12 o'clock. What we're going to do right now is spread your legs out, shoulder width apart. Then if you're a righty like Coach Connie, you're going to take your left leg forward. Good. Okay, right from there. Now if you're a lefty, you're going to put your right leg forward. Easy. So what you're going to do from here is what I want you to do is you're going to pivot a little bit. So your front leg, so if you're a righty, your front on the balls of your front leg, Remember on the clock? Turn that to right from there, one o'clock. If you're a lefty, it's always gonna be opposite. Right from here, it's gonna be 11 o'clock. Okay, your back leg as a righty is gonna be two o'clock. Remember, your knees and your feet always stay together. Your knees are shocks. Now, if you're a southpaw or lefty, so now I'm at right from here, 11 o'clock, and my back leg, is at 10 o'clock. From here, I want you to distribute your weight, bend your knees 50-50. Always staying on the balls of your feet. Good, remember, you're still pointing. Your eyes are still at 12 o'clock. What we're gonna do just for now, I want you to put your guard up. All we're gonna do right now, I'm not teaching you how to use your guard, just to put it up. Put your right hand by your face if you're a righty. If you're a lefty, your left hand by your jaw. Now your front arm, hand goes between your nose and your chin, good. Now a lot of people when they fight are always square, your target's open. So again, looking at a clock, remember, eyes, 12 o'clock. Toes, your righty, one and two o'clock. If you're a lefty, from here, it's 11 and 10 o'clock. From here, your shoulder, if you're a righty, turn that shoulder to 11 o'clock. So look at your stands, less of a target. Now if you're a lefty, from here, your shoulder from here goes up, one o'clock, right here, guards up. What I want you to do, bend your knees, stand the balls of your feet. Proper fighting stands. Okay, right from there, all I'm gonna do, it's like dance, all we're gonna do is step forward and step back. So what you're gonna do when you distribute your weight forward, you're stepping off your front leg, dragging your back leg back. Your fighting stands are shoulder width apart, never change them. So as we step forward, me as a southpaw, Connie as orthodox, watch. Step, move, never change your stands. When you step back, guard stays up, step back. Step forward, step back. Good, keep on doing it, step forward, step back. It's a dance, step forward, Step back, stand the balls of your feet. Now let's pick it up a little bit. I want you to hop off it. Hop forward, hop back, hop forward, hop back. Remember, distributing your weight 50-50. It's a lot to do with your foundation. It's like a building. If your foundation falls or breaks, the building falls. Your foundation has to be solid. If I go and punch or, or kick out her leg, 50-50, she's gonna redistribute and put her uh, balance on her back leg. We wanna make sure, or vice versa. So right from here, your stands are up. Remember, eyes 12 o'clock. For Connie, shoulders where, 11 o'clock. Right up, toes, one and two o'clock. Okay, so from right here, what we're gonna do now, learning how to position yourself and angles. So we're gonna pivot. So as we're going forward, Stepping forward, right? Your foundation's still here. Don't lose your balance as a fighter. We never cross our feet. So we pivot. So we're gonna go clockwise. At the orthodox as a righty, all we're gonna do is step forward right now. Remember the clock? Basic, we're gonna pivot to three o'clock. We're gonna pivot to six o'clock, nine o'clock, back to 12 o'clock. Using your front leg to push off of. On the balls of your feet, pivoting. The only thing that moves is your back leg. So you're gonna step, redirect, 
pivot for right now to three o'clock. Step, redirect, pivot to six o'clock. Step, redirect, pivot to nine o'clock. Watch how Connie does it and how easy she does it. That front leg does not move, just the rear leg. Good, keep on going. If you're a southpaw, same thing. You're still going clockwise, but you're gonna be doing the same thing. Basic movement for a boxer. Good, easy, shake it out, Connie. So your stands again, let's review before we go on the counterclockwise. Shoulder width apart, feet. Natural step forward. Turn your toes, one and two o'clock. If you're righty, lefty, remember, it's different. It's 11 and 10 o'clock. Guard up. Good, right from there, okay? Stand the balls of your feet, bend your knees. 50-50, 50-50. Good, so now, we're, now what we're gonna do, just movement again. We're gonna step again, this time we're gonna move counterclockwise. So counterclockwise means a little bit harder for us if we're righties. We're gonna go nine o'clock. Again, six o'clock. Again, three o'clock. Moving, keep on going. It's all basic footwork. Watch the balls of your feet. Watch how she moves. She doesn't cross her feet. Moving forward, moving back. So now we got that movement, stepping forward, right? Stepping back, okay? Stepping sideways, pivoting angles. Now we're just gonna let Connie move and redirect. She's gonna step forward, step back, Clockwise, counterclock. Watch how easy this works. Learning how to move around your opponent angles. Now your angles, as she pivoting, you could always shorten it up or make it wider. So tomorrow watch, we'll start with that and we're gonna start with head movement and we'll go on to maybe some hands. Thank you for watching.